back again. Oh, back again, back again. Got my favorite shirt on. Lesser two evils is still evil. Uh, quick commentary on what I'm thinking on the uh, recount effort. Uh, I could go ahead and mock Hillary Clinton saying anyone who doesn't accept the results is uh, a threat to democracy, but I know one thing. America isn't a democracy. It's a republic, or that's what it's intended to be. The other thing... It goes back to what I was saying, uh, and have been saying for a few months now. If you look at it, both the Democrat and Rep Republican Party is fractured. And after this loss, it, and by all means, it does look like it's going to remain a loss. Uh, I don't think it's going to be overturned. I could be wrong. Uh... The Democrat Party is about where the Republicans were in 2008. And that's all a fact. Uh, it's also a fact that even Jill Stein admits, oh, well, there's no real evidence of foul play, but let's do this anyway. Hillary Clinton said it. Obama said it. If you remember, they even had the Department of Homeland Security called up to make sure it didn't happen. All signs are pointing toward no, it, there was no foul play. So why are they do, so why is Jill Stein doing this? Uh, and that's very simple. She's trying to play off the fractured, the fracturedness of the, uh, Democrat party to try and get more, to lure more disgruntled Democrats to the, uh, Green Party. That's all it is. And Hillary Clinton is trying to save face for the rank-and-file Democrat Party in hopes that they, that won't happen. That's honestly what I think is happening. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's r literally all it is. It is a dog-and-pony show to try and convince disgruntled Democrats to come over. Uh, Wisconsin, yes, has agreed to do a recount. They're also talking Pennsylvania and Michigan. It's There's question as to whether or not Michigan will buy it. We'll find out Monday or tomorrow. Uh, considering the fact they literally just certified, the uh, Secretary of State literally just certified the results on Friday after doing recounts galore, I don't know if they're going to uh, grant a recount. Because, like I said, they've already done it. That's why it took so long to certify the results. Because they've already done the recounts. So the only thing it's going to be is a hard recount, and there's a question as to whether or not Michigan's going to go for it. There's talks that they're not going to because they checked and they found no signs of tampering with the machines or anything else. So will they jump on that? Who knows? That really, that leaves Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania probably will do a recount, same as Wisconsin. I'm not surprised by those. Uh, I'd be more surprised if Michigan did. Simply because, like I said, they just certified their results two days ago. Uh, there's one other thing I want to talk about, and that is old Baron Trump. You know, he, uh, there have been a little bit of controversy lately asking if he's autistic. Oh, he's autistic. Just shut up. One, it's none of your freaking business if he's autistic. Two, what difference does it make if he is? It's not going to affect Trump as a president or anything else. And three, you know, I know they pointed toward when uh, Trump made his celebratory speech when his now he won. Oh, he was not active. He was just, he was pretty much just standing there. He's a 10-year-old kid, for Pete's sake. 
it's like what two three o'clock in the morning i would i'm 29 i couldn't do that i would be standing there just half awake and they're speculating oh well maybe he he's autistic that's why he wasn't out on the campaign trail or maybe it's because he's like a 10 year old kid Maybe the Trumps were being a res- responsible parents and choosing not to subject him to the campaign trail. Is it possible? Yes. Now, if they come out and say, yes, he's autistic, that's one thing. But it's still none of your business and it's still not going to make a bit of difference. All signs point toward they were just or I'm leaning toward they were just trying to isolate the kid from the campaign trail. That's all. They're trying to let him be as close to a normal 10-year-old kid as he can be, or however however old he is. And look, maybe he's not excited to meet dignitaries. Well, when your father's one of the richest people in the world, or maybe not the world, but definitely one of the richest people in the country, big-time celebrity done a little bit of everything some things he, su- he succeeded at some he hasn't the prospect of meeting moral dignitaries doesn't really fly because <laughs> he's already done that been there done that he's moved on to the next big thing you know big whoop I met someone important someone rich someone famous yada 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 he's already he does it daily. It's called his dad. Uh, <laughs> so let's go on to the next thing. <sighs> and this is a point that Waptech uh, brought up. I'll watch his videos. W-A-P-T-E-K if you're interested. More than likely, he's like, oh, big whoop. And this is a paraphrase of what Waptech said. Uh, big whoop, what are you going to do next, dad? Become an astro- astronaut? And it's kind of, I think that could be part of what's at play. It's not like this is a big deal for them. It is, but it isn't. It would be a bigger deal for someone like me to become president than it would be for Donald Trump. So back off the little kid, okay? And let's not worry about the election. Let's wait and see what happens stop worrying, stop saying this person's going to kill us, this is going to happen, yada, yada, yada. We hear it every election cycle. It ain't happened yet. Yes, you should stay alert. Yes, you should keep on watch. But, you know, don't give them free reins, but at the same time, stop with the mass hysteria. Anyway, it's about lunchtime. And I got a nice hot Subway sandwich waiting on me. So uh, I'm about home. Later.